Hi everybody, it's Lavinia and welcome to my channel. I just wanted to give you an update as to where I'm at with the uh, color pencil drawing portrait that I'm making of this little puppy. This is my niece and nephew's little puppy, little Yorkie puppy. And I had put down a, I had used my Graphitint, Dirtwind Graphitint pencils. I have that in one video where I use that as a wash for the underlayer. And I'm now using my Shuttle Art uh, pencil set there this is the the one that has the 174 pencils and I'm starting with the eye so I'm hoping you can see that there there's the eye of the puppy I have my color chart from shuttle art so I have this out as a tool a reference tool I also have all my little swatches that I done I have my pencil sharpener because I do want to make sure that the tips of these pencils are sharp. And what I started, and I also have here on my laptop, I just have a um, picture of the puppy up there as well. Because the way it is in this photo is different than on the laptop. So, <clears throat> pardon me, I'm just using them both as references. This is not a high resolution picture, so that's why. But what I started out first, as far as for the eye, is I started out with white. So I added the white in the eye for the highlight, and then I rimmed it with black. Not all the way, because uh, when I look at the picture, this is not all black. So I did rim it with black here on top and here a little bit on the side and below. But then as far as for the iris itself, the color that I used was, let me see if it should be here somewhere. I think it was a dark, a dark brownish gray. Let me, let me see if I can find it. Okay, so it was this color here, dark brownish gray, which I have here in the iris so i think you can see from that up close i also used some different grays for i'm now starting here starting the edge of the eye area and i also used this color here called dark yellow for this area here in the eye and so now i'm going to start working outward and um I was watching a couple of videos of a professional pet portrait artists and they were saying, I mean, they speed up their videos and that's not something I, I know how to do. Um, so I think I'm just going to sh show snippets of the video of, or I should say of the portrait as I, as I do this because, um, yeah, I, if they're professionals and they're, it's taking them that long, I can just imagine how long it's going to take me. And I probably should have made this a, a little bit bigger because I actually pulled out, I have this jeweler's um, magnifying glass, you know, just to be able to see a little bit better. But um, I probably shouldn't be as detailed as I'm trying to be and maybe just um, start off um with the mid-tones, the dark values, the light values, and then add in the details. But I just wanted to give you a look as to where I'm at with this pet portrait. And I really do like the way the eye came out. And so I'm starting right now with the, with the grayish areas, especially on the laptop, you can see the grays. So I'm laying that foundation in, then I'm going to be putting in the darks so that light area will show up better. So I think that's what I'm going to do rather than just jumping around. I'm going to focus at one area at a time and work that way. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And I hope you like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, you know, just to get updates as to where this little pet portrait is, as well as other videos and tutorials that I do post. Again, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I will see you soon. Bye.